It's my privilege today to introduce a constituent of mine, Dr. Renee Bergeron. Dr. Bergeron's impressive resume includes over 30 years of experience and numerous publications that focus on various topics from elder abuse and neglect to family poverty to domestic violence, just to name a few. She's a monthly contributor to the New Hampshire Senior Times and is on the board of the advising editors for the Journal of Elder Abuse and Neglect. Dr. Bergeron serves as an associate professor in the social work department of my alma mater, University of New Hampshire. We're both so proud of it. And as if all that wasn't enough to keep anyone busy, she's currently serving as the president of the New Hampshire chapter of the National Association of Social Work. As a social worker and an administrator myself, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Bergeron, for your work in our field and for taking the time out today. You have a very busy schedule, as we know, and you're testifying, and I appreciate it very much, and I look forward to your testimony. I would like to thank Chairwoman McCarthy and uh, the members of this subcommittee for allowing me to testify today. I have a bachelor's uh, from the University of New Hampshire, a master's from the University of Connecticut, and a doctorate from Boston College, all in social work. Social work is truly the profession I love, and I'm so pleased to be able to talk to you about it today. My testimony is, is based on my 30 years plus of practice as a medical social worker and as an outreach worker to elderly people in the community. Included in those years is also 24 years of teaching at a university level and 10 years of conducting research. I would also like to add that social work has been personally very important in my life as I have a child with fragile X disease and so social work entered into our family's life at the date of his birth and continued to be a part of our life as my father died of a brain tumor at home and as my mother developed severe Parkinson's and had to be placed in assisted living and now with myself as I struggle with my battle with cancer. So social work is extremely important and just in my own family, very varied in what it does. My testimony is going to focus primarily on research. To simplify, I'm going to organize this into three categories. Who is responsible for research? What are the fields of practice that research needs to be conducted in? And where social work needs to go in the future with research. Social work education, as you heard, is primarily divided into three levels, baccalaureate level, master's level, and the doctorate level. The expectation is that the commitment of the baccalaureate worker is minimal. However, the work that they do opens our research base in order to see what is effective and useful in practice. The master level, while preparing primarily for practice, supervisory, and management position, does have the expectation to do research. However, high caseloads often inhibit them from doing so. At the doctorate level, the expectation is that in addition to administration and teaching, they certainly will conduct research. Thus, this level of education is what drives research and places an obligation on doctors of social work to link with the baccalaureate workers, the master's workers, agencies, and clients themselves to produce a practice-based research that will enrich the field and identify effective interventions, as well as discourage interventions that are not very effective. The field of practice of social work, as you've heard, is very global, and this, in fact, can make research difficult. An overview is family interventions, that includes family violence, child services, medical services, that include mental health issues, as well as catastrophic issues, aging and gerontology, that includes elder abuse, neglect, and financial exploitation, anti-poverty programs that include homelessness, job training, income assistance, transitional programs, immigrant and refugee services, as well as veteran services, clinical issues, and discrimination issues. These practice fields suggest that creative approaches in research may include coordination of efforts among 
educational institutions, the various levels of practitioner education, practice agencies and organizations, and of course, the clients themselves. Research is basically divided into two types, qualitative research, which is exploratory, exploratory and develops hypotheses for future studies. It also incorporates ethnographic types of studies. And then we have quantitative research, which is your survey database types of work. And it can include meta-analysis of um, large data banks like the US Census. The future agenda of social work is multifaceted and really is going to involve four main areas, health care, general family issues, underserved communities, which is going to include substance and violence issues, and community needs, such as disaster preparation. Research has an obligation to analyze creative approaches in meeting both national and international needs of clients that involve faith-based services, volunteerism, and education. The need to know what changes in behavior and social factors could contribute to the effective functioning of clients and the efficiency of programs is important both from a human factor and a cost factor. We cannot afford in this country not to support social work because those areas that go unsupported will have a great impact on all of the citizens who live here. Thank you very much.